I am heading over to the edge area of the Dell Expo and I am going to take a look at the smart manufacturing area and walk you through what they're doing. It's pretty cool stuff. This is a really cool moment for me to show you all what I do for my day job as YouTube is just a hobby right now. And so here is a glimpse of how manufacturers can reimagine their edge operations. It shows you dashboards. There's so much to unpack. And throughout this edge video, I'm going to walk you through and introduce you to some of the CTOs over at Dell. I work with extremely intelligent people that I got to interview at Dell World and excited to show you what that all looks like. But this little tiny demo is very cool if you had a chance to stop by. Welcome to Smart Manufacturing Booth. What we're showing here is Dell being the only company in the world that can help you with your manufacturing digital transformation from the shop floor all the way to the top floor. Manufacturing has gotten tired of just doing individual point solutions that don't scale and don't deliver those transformative outcomes that they've been looking for for over a decade. So they're looking for a partner, Dell Technologies, that can deliver a much better strategic partnership to help them go from that plant floor, collecting the data that needs to be collected, but doing some really interesting things with that so that then you can use that to make real business decisions. So we'll start on the plant floor side. We, we start with hardened, ruggedized devices that go on the plant floor. They can connect to all of the PLCs and robots and dirty systems a lot of times that sit on the manufacturing floor. Extract that data, because that data is really hard to get at. That's one of the problems we see. But we can do that with our scalable, repeatable approach using Native Edge to not only deliver gateways and hardware to do that connection and transform those protocols that aren't typically used in the enterprise IT world and deliver that software and start to collect that data that you can then use for multiple different things for all of the use cases. So you deliver dashboards with some of the best partners in the business, PTC, Telet, Litmus, Cognex, we're just announcing some new one, new partnerships with Bosch and with Hyundai Auto Ever, that can all be delivered seamlessly and easily and securely at the edge using native edge. So you drop in a hardware, drop in a gateway, drop in a PC on the plant floor, native edge onboards that with zero touch, zero trust security, and then delivers that software to that, that edge device to be able to pull data out of there and give it context. And then you can use it for multiple different things. So what we're seeing then in the next phase, what we call the enterprise edge. Again, manufacturers are tired of compute that's sitting on the plant floor, spread out all over, that doesn't deliver the outcomes. Why? Because you need more and more compute. That's, an, that's a, a, almost an, an endless supply needed. So we're seeing manufacturers globally adopt a much more converged or hyper-converged scalable approach. What does that mean? Actually building mini data centers in all of their plants. This is going worldwide. Everybody's starting to do that that really has a strategic approach to digital transformation of their plant floor. Why? Because there's so many applications. The number of applications are not going down. The number of applications are skyrocketing. All of their predictive maintenance and OEE overall equipment, equipment effectiveness, those are all great applications that have been around for a long time, but then you add in things like digital twins or digital thread or 5G in the factory, and then of course AI and generative AI that's coming on really fast. The companies that have already started to do this digital transformation and looking at the infrastructure as a strategic advantage to run all of those next generation workloads, so those are the ones who are already implementing generative AI on their, plat on their plant floor. So think about it, you're a plant floor manager and you think, I wonder how I can increase my yield or why did my yield drop yesterday? Those are all real life questions you can ask your generative AI on your manufacturing floor and it'll have an answer for you, but it'll also then implement the, 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 the solution to make it actually happen. And then once you've got that, then you can proceed up to the what where Dell has historically shined in the enterprise data center space. But enterprise data that can then help you make business decisions 
based on what you see in the factory using, of course, generative AI and design engineering workflows so that you can have your product designers and engineers do some simulation on that data that's coming out of the factory and then wrap that in and close the loop back into the factory floor to make it real. So with Dell Technologies, we're not just a supplier, we're really that strategic partner from the end to end, from the shop floor to the top floor to really make your digital transformation true and really accelerate it. This is the booth to be at and it's going to steal the show because there are a lot of cool things happening, especially the little brewery in the back utilizing AI and our edge operations platform with a couple different software providers on top of it. It's very interesting. So I'm going to go hand that microphone off to Warren and he's going to walk you through what they're doing at this local brewery in Boston, Massachusetts. Hey everybody, I'm Warren. I'm going to walk you through our open brew demo here at Dell Tech World and talk about how we've improved operations at a local brewery in Boston, Massachusetts and how we could apply this to any brewing operation and for that matter any kind of manufacturing operation to provide uh, business values for our customers. So we, we worked this project in a couple phases at Exhibit A Brewing in Boston, Massachusetts or a uh, craft brewery there. We started out on their fermentation process. This is a little mini fermentation tank that's used for home brewing. If you've ever been in a craft brewery you've probably seen very large versions of this and the fermentation process is very sensitive to temperature and pressure. And typically, uh, craft brewers, they don't have as many resources. Uh, they will do all these measurements manually. So we put digital temperature and pressure sensors on the fermentation tank that goes into a Dell Edge Gateway that's running our partner software from Tellit. And then we provide a dashboard for their operators that allows them to monitor that process remotely. The latest upgrade that we did for them, we actually put this on a mobile device, so you can see this on your phone, you do not have to be in the plant, and what we did is we created alarms and alerts on those values, so that if it gets out of range, depending on which stage of fermentation you're in, it will alert the maintenance person. So the benefit for the customer is now, they don't have to be in front of the tanks to take these measurements and also they can gather this data and put it into their brewery management system. So this was phase one that we did last year with the Dell Gateway. Uh, phase two, we took it to the next level and we added some AI and 5G. So what we did is we went to their canning line and on the canning line, it's kind of finicky, it, it, they had to have three or four people constantly monitoring the canning line for cans that had fallen over cans that had missing tops, missing labels. So what we did, again, tell it device-wise software, we trained some AI models to look for those particular defects. The product that we used here is a Dell XR4000, you could see it. This is the wall mount version. Not a lot of people know that we even have this, but this, this server can be mounted on a wall in your factory or in your store. We put an NVIDIA GPU in here. The whole project was funded and we worked with NVIDIA on this. It's a, NVIDIA's latest and greatest GPU, the L4 in this XR4000. We train those AI models and then we're also doing the inferencing on this XR4000 as well. And you can see on the dashboard up there, it'll tell the operator what the defect is on the can. It's still a manual intervention to go and stand the can up, but at least this allows them to be proactive. Uh, and we have, in the brew itself, we have two large monitors that are displaying this information. And for this show, what we added to kind of showcase our partnership with Nokia is we put all of the endpoint devices in the application on a Nokia private 5G network, which is this. So this is running a Dell PowerEdge server in the Nokia private wireless network. This is the radio here. And then you can see we have a Nokia router that's connected to the XR4000. The tablet is also on that private 5G network. So rather than running this on Wi-Fi, you can put a private 5G network in the plant, in the campus, whatever, to connect all your devices. Now here's a close-up of the computer vision, looking at the cans, if they're falling down and what the position looks like. And I'm gonna do a close-up of the gateway. Now this gateway, when you order it as a native edge enabled device, it is going to come completely locked down. No port is open, so it cannot be tampered with. And look how tiny it is, the size of my, my hand. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. This was really just a snippet of what kind of cool things I get up to and get to do for my job. I hope you enjoy it. If you do have any questions and this video is for you and you're curious about some of these solutions, feel free to reach out directly. Thank you.